नमो ब्रह्म भ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तव्यो भ्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोपलब्ध प्रज्ञा प्रत्यकर्त ब्रह्मेवाहमस्मस्मे नारायण पद्म भूम वशिष्ठ शक्ति तत्पुत्र पराशर व्यास शुकंग गौड़पदम महांत गोविंद योगींद्र मथा से शिष्य श्रीशंकराचार्य मथा से पद्म पाद हस्तामलक शिष्य तंतोटक वार्तिकस्मदुरू सततमस्मी श्रुतिश्रुतिपुराणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरात्मीति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं सहनावतु सहनो घन सह वीरकवाहैजस्वीतमस्तु मदिषावहै ओं शाचाशाशाक संसिध आदिमध्यार्जित आनंदघनमापूर्णमात्मज्योतिस्मे सो वी आर अबाउट टू बिगिन विद आनंदमय अधिकरण वी सॉ दि ईक्षत्यधिकरण नव इन आनंदमय अधिकरण देर इज अ डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग तैतरीय उपनिषद सो इन दैतरीय उपनिषद देर इज पंचकोश विवेक एंड देर इनिशियली दिस आउटर मोस्ट कोशा विच इज अन्नमय कोशा इज टेकन एज आत्मा बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग एवरी वन हैज इज दट आई एम दिस कैंड ऑफ अ पर्सन आई एम अ मैन और अ वुमन आई एम अ सन ऑफ दिस पर्सन डॉटर ऑफ दिस पर्सन एक्सेट्रा सो द शरीर इज वॉट इज बॉर्न एंड शरीर हैज ए संबंध विद दि पेरेंट्स विद दि चिल्ड्रन एक्सेट्रा सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट कॉमन अंडरस्टैंडिंग अक्रॉस ऑल बींग्स सो दैट इज रियली वॉट इट इज अन्नमय If at all there is a disease, then a person goes to any vaidya or a modern doctor. They'll give medication which has to be taken along with food. A particular kind of diet is suggested, or some food is restricted there. If a person does not eat enough, even then the medication won't work because medication is supposed to be after food. in ayurveda the change in food itself will lead to ease in the disease meaning the the, the dis part of the ease will go away and one will be at ease that is swasthyam swasmin tishtati iti swasthah so food is what makes up this body even before a person is born what the mother eats affects the unborn child in the womb so the body grows with food meaning what it is a vikara it is a modification it's a produce of product of food that is annamaya so the sharira the outermost kosha is taken as oneself jiva atma whenever one says aham the identification is with the gross body that gross body is annamaya meaning anna vikara maya मयट प्रत्यय इट्स व्युत्पत्ति सो दि तदित वृत्ति इन विच दि व्युत्पत्ति इज इफ यू लुक एट दि विग्रह वाक्य दैट इज वॉट अन्न से विकार दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अन्नमय देन आफ्टर इंक्वायरी इन टू दैट द उपनिषद सेज देर इज अनदर इन साइड अनदर आत्मा इन साइड दिस इज आत्मा then it says there is another atma within and when it says there is another atma within what does that mean that means that the earlier is no longer an atma you cannot have two atmas there are no two eyes within two ahams within so the outer becomes the kosha annamaya becomes the kosha <coughs> and the inner anyantara atma that atma is what pranamaya ha and so on so there is a पंचकोश विवेक डन स्टार्टिंग विथ अन्नमय देन प्राणमय देन 
manomaya then vijnanamaya and finally anandamaya so at each stage anyantaratma anyantaratma keeps on saying the shruti keeps on saying that and finally it lands on annamaya uh, anandamaya then there is no further kosha mentioned there there is no further atma mentioned within so that is the end of the analysis as per the purva pakshi now as we saw here the siddhanti is two fold meaning there is one siddhanta vidanti who is an ekadeshi who says that there is a vidhi for upasana the jiva should be seen as paramatma who is anandamaya so there he says mayat pratyaya is there but the siddhanti says mayat pratyaya is not vikararthe it is prachuryarthe abundance the meaning of abundance because mayat pratyaya as per the vyakarana sutras can be in vikarartha as well as prachuryartha so here he says siddhanti meaning ekadeshi siddhanti he says mayat is not it is not vikara and avayava so vikara in in the case of vikara meaning product and avaya meaning a part there mayat can be used says the tadid sutra vyakarana sutra so mayat um, mayat vaitayor bhashayam abhaksha chhadanayo so vikara avayavo in the case of vikara and avayava then that entity can take mayat that is one sutra another sutra the ekadeshi siddhanti says tat prakruta vachane mayat so mayat suffix tadjita pratyaya can be ordained when there is a prachuryartha meaning there is abundance of that so here abundance of ananda is there in paramatma abundance limitless ananda is there so jiva should do upasana as per the vidhi and see oneself as anandamaya then that paramatma who is anandamaya thinking of that paramatma as aham with ahangra upasana the jiva i becomes anandamaya this is the ekadeshi's mata siddhanti bhagavat padiya mata is that it has to be understood there is no upasana there yes the ananda maya there is the maya pratya can be seen it is believe in the bhashya if you look at taitri bhashya he says it is vikara arthe but vikara is not in the way the puro pakshi understands therefore here it is shown as though bhagavat pada mata also sees it as prachurya arthe and then refutes the mata of the puro pakshi but then vikara artha is what is taken but that is not the paramatma who is undergoing vikara it is the vikara of priya mor moda pramodadi in anandamaya kosha there if you look at in the bhashya the argument of the purva pakshi is that since there is no another atma mentioned there anandamaya itself is brahma here the siddhanti saying anandamaya stands for paramatma but in the bhashya if you look at it there it is said that that anandamaya is a kosha finally you have to understand it as kosha because brahma pucham pratishtha is what is said in that mantra in the end at each kosha analysis there are avayavas mentioned parts mentioned as to you know which is the uh, there is a simile given of that particular kosha at that level so if you look at annamaya there is a simile given as to it is comparable to a bird there is a left wing there is a right wing and there is a there is a whole body the trunk and then there is a tra- tail which is puchha at each of these kosha levels this bird simile is given with different things uh, mentioned as the uttara paksha dakshina paksha ityadi uh, so paksha is a wing so whether it is a uh, the right wing or the left wing all this is mentioned for understanding finally as all these which have parts they are koshas atma is partless when you land on ananda anandamaya there also priya moda pramoda these bhedas are there and the end of the refrain of refrain of all the koshas finally when you land on anandamaya as atma there also when priya moda pramoda 
gradations are there in ananda that cannot be real brahmatma and that is why the shruti says taitri mantra brahma puchham pratishtha that puchha the tail as it is mentioned in all the koshas all the five set of mantras the last set also last of the set also says brahma puchham pratishtha there now the puro pakshi says this is avayava brahma is part of if you look at it there anandamaya it is part part of the anandamaya because puchha tail is part of the bird if bird is the comparison with the entire anandamaya then there is one part here now an entire ananda then with mayat pratya vikarartha or avayavartha parts can be seen so that part cannot be brahma so it has to be jiva so these kind of analysis are done these kind of analysis are done and then puro pakshi says it has to be jiva finally ananda maya has to be jiva part of ananda has to be jiva siddhanti says this puchha in the final siddhanta this puchha brahma pucham pratishtha pratishtha artha is there the avayavas have been discussed the brahma is not an avayava brahma is not a part what has been said there because there is a bahulyam there is a praya patha there is bahulyam there is a lot of mention of this bird simile and parts there therefore you are thinking that it is a part the puchha has been mentioned as a repeat of the earlier mantra repeat in the sense the repeat of the tail part puchha which has been used earlier similarly here also puchha has been mentioned but everywhere the meaning is not the same here it is pratishtha and if you say there is nothing within that brahma puchham pratishtha is where there is an end there is nothing within that is what is meant it is not that after anandamaya there is nothing within after anandamaya there is brahma that brahma is the pratishtha for not only anandamaya but through anandamaya for vijnanamaya also it is a pratishtha support for sat chit and ananda all that is seen in anandamaya and beyond into vijnanamaya the chaitanya seen in vijnanamaya is due to this brahma which is puchha which is pratishtha seen as puchha in the simile of the birds because the simile of the birds has been used but the way the bird is balancing only because of the tail without the tail the bird will fall off you know it it can't fly it wouldn't be able to fly it it would fall off even while sitting the tail balances it it provides support and through that kind of an understanding you have to take brahma puchham pratishtha as the very support for all the koshas through anandamaya for vijnanamaya brahma is the support through anandamaya and vijnanamaya brahma is the support for manomaya and through all these three koshas anandamaya vijnanamaya manomaya pranamaya finds its support in brahma and all the pranamaya manomaya vijnanamaya and anandamaya through all of them brahma provides support to even annamaya this is how it has to be seen that mantra and since brahma is the end goal there is nothing beyond that कठोपनिषद से सा काष्टा सा परागति ही बियॉन्ड दिस यू कैनॉट गो यू कैनॉट गो विद इन योर ओन सेल्फ एंड से दैट आई हैव समथिंग विद इन मी आल्सो दैट मी एट द लेवल ऑफ शरीर इज फाइन एट द लेवल ऑफ मना इज फाइन एट द लेवल ऑफ बुद्धि इज फाइन एट द लेवल ऑफ सुषुप्ति ग्रेडेशंस ऑफ आनंद इज फाइन दैट कारण शरीर बट विद इन दैट व्हेन यू रीच ऑन योर रियल pratyagatma innermost self that is your swarupa the nature which is brahma which is indivisible has no upadhi to divide and separate from another whether jiva or ajiva chaitanya or jada that you is the limit you cannot go within because that is your real swarupa the sakshi where nothing else is there as sakshya so sakshi name also has to be dropped that is the real you that is brahma that is brahma pucham pratishtha with this background we'll look at it so that we can see where the puro pakshi is coming from the ekadeshi is coming from and where the siddhanti finally stands so anandamaya adhikaranam was introduced by saying 
दट इत्थम सर्वेशां वेदांता सविशेष निर्विशेष ब्रह्मपराण उपास्ति विधि द्वारा साक्षात निर्विशेष ब्रह्मपर सिद्धि अभी अधुना निर्विशेष वाक्य विचारात्मक इदम अधिकरण आरभ्य है सो इट इज दिस अधिकरण इज फॉर एनालिसिस ऑफ दि निर्विशेष ब्रह्म निर्गुण ब्रह्म ऑल दो वेदर थ्रू उपासनादि सगुण ब्रह्म और निर्गुण ब्रह्म उपासना थ्रू दैट यू लैंड ऑन फाइनली निर्विशेष ब्रह्म ऑल दि उपनिषद वाक्या फाइनली लीड यू टू दैट निर्विशेष निर्गुण ब्रह्म स्टिल नाउ दीज निर्विशेष वाक्य विचारात्मक वॉट आर दीज निर्विशेष वाक्य निर्गुण ब्रह्म वाक्य दो विच डील विथ दैट कैंड ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट विच डील्स विथ ब्रह्म विच इज निर्गुण टू शो दैट दैट एनालिसिस द आनंदमय अधिकरण हैज बीन बिगन और इज बीइंग स्टार्टेड नाउ आनंदमय अभ्यास आनंदमय अभ्यास सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट सूत्र इन द अधिकरण सो इनिशियल एज वी हैव सीन देयर इज एक देशी मत आई हैव मार्क्ड इट इन द ब्रैकेट्स एज एक देशी मत बिकॉज़ सिद्धांत तो एज वी मेंशन दिस सिद्धांत इज एक देशी सिद्धांत ऑल्दो इज अ वेदांती इट इज नॉट द फाइनल सिद्धांत बिकॉज़ In the Ekadeshi Mata, also these mantras, Taitri mantras, and similar mantras elsewhere, Ananda Maya Ityadi, those are for Upasana. Although the Upasana, Upasya, meaning what is the Vishay of Upasana, the Upasya, Upasya is Paramatma in the case of the Ekadeshi Siddhanti. In the case of Puro Pakshi, it is Jiva. Jiva should be seen as Ananda Maya, meaning the Upasya is Jiva himself. One should. meditate upon oneself as having ananda may swarup ananda swarup that is the not swarup ananda vikar ananda maya so he has one you know one ansha of ananda of ishwara that kind of a that kind of a meditation should be done as per the puro pakshi the ekadeshi siddhanti says no there it is upasya is not jiva it is brahma and through that upasana somehow this jeeva becomes anandamaya he gains the properties of the paramatma the final siddhanta is that it is not upasana at all what is it then this mantra is finally to drop the koshas understand that all these are not atma they are koshas anandamaya is also kosha you drop it and you land on brahma pucham pratishtha that brahma pratishtha i am i am the माय स्वरूप रियल स्वरूप आई हु एम इन ब्रह्म स्वरूप दैट आई एम द इनर मोस्ट सेल्फ व्हिच इज ब्रह्म इटसेल्फ एंड आनंद स्वरूप इटसेल्फ इट इज नॉट विकारार्थे मय मीनिंग इट इज नॉट द आनंद विकार इट इज नॉट एन अवयव ऑफ एनीथिंग एल्स आई एम स्वरूपेण आनंद आई एम आनंद इटसेल्फ अनंत आनंद that satchidananda is my swarupa and then that is the knowledge which is freeing that will lead to moksha is the final siddhanta which will come up later after all the set of sutras are analyzed then after that um, after the end of the first round of the ekadeshi we'll look at the bhagavat padya mata ikshatyadikarane tat teja ikshata iti अमुखे क्षण प्राय पाठो यथा जगत् न निश्चायक न तथा आनंदमय मयटो विकारा प्राय पाठ अनिश्चायक पूर्वेण से प्रत्युदाहरण संगति वॉट इज संगति बिट्वीन दि अर्लियर अधिकरण एंड दिस अधिकरण ईक्षत्यधिकरण एंड आनंदमय अधिकरण हियर वॉट इज बीइंग डन इज दैट वॉट वॉज नॉट conclusive in the earlier argument for ekshatya dikarana from the perspective of the puro pakshi the puro pakshi there was sankhya who was saying that pradhana is the jagat karana why because it is not possible for nirguna brahma to be jagat karana and then finally when uh, siddhanti says no ekshana karma has been mentioned ekshana kriya then that is gauna said the sankhya why gauna because the teja ikshata was said the apa ikshata so tad teja ikshata apaha aikshanta plural nitya bhuvachana stri linga so the teja ikshata tad apaha aik apaha aikshanta 
Similarly, Tadaikshata is that Sadeva Somya Idamagrasi Tat Sad Aikshata. That has to be also Gauna. Why? Because mostly Tat Teja Aikshata is Gauna. Fire cannot have a vision. But the Shruti says there is a vision. The fire had a vision. Water had vision that I will create, I will create. Similarly, that Sat Brahma had, uh, you say Sat Brahma, we say Sat Pradhana had vision. Sat means Pradhana there, Atma is Pradhana. And that Pradhana Prakriti Maya Aikshata, that is also Gauna. There is no real Ikshana because Pradhana is having these, or the, uh, the Swarupa of Pradhana is what? Satya, that is uh, Sattva, it has Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. So, Trigunatmikam Pradhanam can do Jagatkarya, can be Jagatkarana and make the Jagat as Karya. And if Ikshana Karma is not possible, okay, it is not possible. The Shruti is Gauna there, just like Tatteja Ikshata, Apa Ikshanta. And why so? Because mostly it has been used in Gauna Prayoga. So why not have this Gauna Prayoga in the case of Tadaikshata also and let it mean Pradhana. The refutation was done as to it is not Gauna, it is Mukhya because it is in Samanadi Karani with Atma and then it has been said that you are that Tattumasi and that leads to Moksha. So multiple reasons were given and after closing that again Three more sutras were given to refute the Pradhana Paksha as Jagatkarana. So, iti Amukhekshana. Amukhekshana is Gauna Ekshana. Gauna Chetna was said Gauna Chetna because Atma Shabda is in Samana Adikarani. So, Amukhekshana Praya Pataha Yatha Jagatkarana Tve Na Nishchayakaha Pradhana Pakshe. In the case of Pradhana, Jagatkarana Tve was not possible. It is not conclusive. No, no, Nishchaya it is inconclusive there. If you say, because everything else, every Ikshana that is mentioned in the Chandogya Shashto Adhyaya, that is Gauna, then in the case of Sat also it is Gauna. The way that kind of a statement of the Puropakshi Sankhya was no Nishchayaka, it was Anishchayaka, it was inconclusive from his perspective he couldn't conclude in that manner. In conclusion means Siddhanti concluded that it is Mukhya, it is not Amukhya. In the case of Gaunatvam it is not conclusive evidence. Na tatha anandamaya ityatra mayata vikara arthatve praya patha anishchaya kaha. The Siddhanti also says that anandamaya in that section where it lands with anandamaya, Taitri Upanishad starts the analysis with the outermost as Atma, the gross body. So, Annamaya was taken as Atma and then Mayat Shabda was analyzed as where it was Annamaya. So, Anna Vikara was said there. And it is Vikara all the way. Why not it be Vikara in Anandamaya also then? So, the Puropakshi is saying, you do not say any more, you cannot say any more, the way it was, the Gauna Prayoga was Anishchayaka. Prayapatha means the multiple usages of Gauna Prayoga in the case of Ikshana, because Tat Teja Ikshata is Gauna, Apa Ikshanta is Gauna, but you say Sat, Tat Ikshata is Mukhya. Here you cannot say that, that Mayat was Vikara in other koshas, but in Anandamaya it is not Vikarartha. You cannot say that. So it is Ityatra Mayataha Vikarartha Prayapatha, meaning Prayapatha is Annamaya being Vikarartha, that Mayat being Vikarartha, and all the other koshas that follow there, Vikarartha can be seen. Prayapatha Anishchayakaha. No, no Anishchayaka means Nishchayakaha. You cannot say it is not, in, not inconclusive. Meaning it is conclusive. Double negation has been used. Iti purvenasya pratyudharana sangati. So pratyudharana is viparitam, viparita udharana sangati. There is a counter example given. The way earlier, in the earlier case, there was inconclusiveness. Here, 
in this Taitiriya Mantra example, it is a counter example. It is not inconclusive, it is conclusive, meaning the Mayat here is definitely Vikarartha and that Vikara is not possible in Brahma. Therefore, here Ananda Maya means Jiva and Jiva Upasana has to be done. In fact, Bhagavad Padacharya won't object to say, really in Bhashya, if you look at it closely, in Taitiriya Bhashya, you will see that there is no objection to Anandamaya being Jiva, not Sarupena, as Kosha. When the Pura is saying he, this is Jiva, then he means by Swarupa Anandamaya is Jiva, or by Swarupa you have to see him as Jiva in the, uh, or Jiva as Anandamaya in the Upasana. That Bhagavan Bhashyakara won't agree with. But Bhagavan Bhashyakara won't have objection with that being taken as Kosha. Which is not the Paksha of either of these. Meaning the Purva Paksha is also not saying that. And the Ekadeshi Siddhanti who is actually not the final Siddhanti. He is also not saying that. Both are talking about Upasana. But nobody is thinking of this Anandamaya as Kosha. And Brahma as the Swarupa which is the Jnana given in the Upanishad. So, here what has been said, uh, the, it is a Pratyudharana Sangati, it is a counter example given here and thereby uh, this Adhikarana, Anandamaya Adhikarana where the example of the Aitri Upanishad is taken, that mantra is Nishchayaka for Mayat being Vikarartha, iti Purvenasya Pratyudharana Sangati, it is a counter example. Purva Pakshe Jeevasya Ananda Mayatvena Upasti Phalam Siddhante Tu Nirvishesha Brahmaikya Pramitir Iti Parama Siddhanta Agusarana So now I uh, will mark this entire thing. So there are three things mentioned here. Further Ekadeshi Matetu Uvetra Upasti Iti Vivekaha So Purva Pakshe is saying what Jeevasya Ananda Mayatvena Upasti Phalam the phala of the analysis of this Anandamaya Adhikarana Sutra. Here Anandamaya, Anandamaya ha, Abhyasat. So Sutrartha I have not mentioned. Sutrartha is Anandamaya ha, is what? As per the Puro Pakshi, it is Jiva. The Siddhanti Ekadeshi is saying Anandamaya ha, Paramatma Eva. Why? Abhyasat. Because Anandamaya word has been used for Brahma multiple times. There is an Abhyasa. Therefore, Anandamaya means Paramatma, not Jiva. That is the Sutrartha as per the Ekadeshi. The Siddhanti also, will also say Anandamaya is definitely Paramatma, not Jiva. Here, in the sense, to, to be understood, the reason is, actually he is not saying Anandamaya is Paramatma, but he is saying it is not Jiva. That's, that's how the final Siddhanta is. Final Siddhanta is Anandamaya is not Jiva for Upasana and then he says it is not Paramatma for Upasana. Anandamaya has to be taken as Kosha. So we will see what exactly is the Vritti there when we look at Bhagavad Padhyamata and then we will sum up, we will do a summary only to see the difference between Ekadeshi and Siddhanti as to Upasana and Jnana. If we understand that much that is sufficient really but for more technicality we will uh, finish both the interpretations and then come back and see if there we can see some difference there or we can see some overlap also. So Pura Pakshi Jeevasya Anandamayatvena Upasti Phalam. Upasti Upasana. Upasti is Bhave Tin. So Upasana is the Phalam. That is the Phalam of the Mimams of the Taitriya Mantras which are taken here. Taitriya Shruya Taitriyadi. So Jeeva is to be meditated upon as Anandamaya, as an Ananda Vikara. This is the phala of the Nivams of the Taitriya Upanishad mantra there. That is the resultant. This is Pura Pakshi's conclusion. Siddhante tu, the final Siddhanta, the Parama Siddhanta Anusarana, meaning those who follow the Parama Siddhanta, Advaita Siddhanta, the way it has to be not Ekadeshi, meaning not a, who agrees with a part, or who agrees with Samuchevada, not that kind of a Siddhanti, not that kind of a Vedanti, but those who follow the Bhashya Ityadi, Sampradaya, Orthodox Sampradaya, Siddhanti to 
निर्विशेष ब्रह्म ऐक्य प्रमित ही प्रमित इज प्रमा दिज्ञान दिज्ञान ऑफ व्हाट ऐक्य वननेस बिटवीन व्हाट बिटवीन ब्रह्म एंड जीव सो बिटवीन व्हिच काइंड ऑफ ब्रह्म एंड जीव फाइनली दैट ब्रह्म विल बी वन व्हेन यू से सविशेष ब्रह्म एंड सविशेष जीव ऐक्य इज देयर दैट equation itself is not possible in reality equation is possible by dropping the upadis upadis are dropped on the on the left and the right side of the equation ishwara saguna brahma is equal to jiva this limited jiva limitless ishwara have opposition so you drop whatever is the upadi sarvajnyatvam alpajnyatvam they are opposite so you drop that upadi one is karya one is the ruler controller karana so you drop that one is the phaladata ishwara jiva is samsari who keeps on asking for phala his hand is already always spread out asking give me this give me this give me this never ending craving for never ending results and remains a samsari while ishwara based on the jiva's karma keeps on giving phala all that has to be dropped finally what you are left with is satchit ananda that is the swarupa which is same in ishwara because not in ishwara ishwara is by swarupa satchit ananda jiva also in swarupa by swarupa is satchit ananda that is the reality which is nirvishesha there is no visheshatvam of sarvajnyatvam alpajnyatvam creator created no such you know no such differences are there it is nirvishesha brahma that is one aikya and that i am that is the prama that is the pramiti iti param siddhanta anusarana those who follow the param siddhanta vedanta in its true form without any concessions that is the param siddhanta that is siddhanti to this is the phala what is that siddhanti to pramiti this aikya pramiti phalam that is the advaya what about in the ekadeshi mata who is being analyzed in the beginning now itself ekadeshi mate tu ubhayatra upasti iti viveka ubhayatra means in the case of purvapaksha of the ekadeshi as well as siddhanta of the ekadeshi both cases there is there is upasana only what is the upasana in the purvapaksha of the ekadeshi the siddhanti also takes the same purvapakshi as to upasana of jiva as anandamaya as the ananda vikara that is the puro paksha ekadeshi refutes that by establishing that no it is paramatma who is not ananda vikara anandamaya is not ananda vikara but ananda prachurya one gets that prachurya by tapping that ananda by meditating upon paramatma therefore jiva gets the upasana phala as ananda that is the phala here this is how ubhayatra uh, ubhayatra ekadeshi has this ubhayatra upasti upasana is the viveka iti viveka this is how these three are discriminated the differences between the three have been given in the beginning as an introduction so what is the vishaya here taitariye shruyate annamaya ityadi upakramya anyantara ma anandamaya iti so what is what is the mantra there it says starts with annamaya iti upakramya beginning with the introduction of annamaya as atma then anyantara atma pranamaya then pranamaya becomes atma annamaya is to be seen as kosha because annamaya is not pranamaya prana sharira the prana that you have is subtler than the gross body which can be objectified but prana can also be objectified you know that you are breathing you know you are inhaling exhaling you know that your prana is weak when you cannot move when there is jwara ityadi fever is there then you have body ache prana is weak you are unable to take long deep breaths and then if someone says you know move this move that you cannot move your limbs easily because prana is weak digestion is weak because prana is weak 
therefore the tongue switches off as a main switch it switches off it does not let you harm yourself further by switching off the tongue the taste goes away so you don't feel like eating a lot you don't feel like eating all sorts of things you don't have taste for this so you say oh you want something you know a little uh, sour or something something which is a little hot so all this is for protection of the body that is because prana is weak that prana you take as yourself then the shruti says no that is not you why anyo antaratma manomayah manas that vicharat uh, the uh, samshaya which causes dwandva that which causes samshaya that is the real you it is not prana that anyontara anyaha antaraha that which is different from this pranamaya which is within antara that is atma meaning what this annamaya was not a atma it was it is kosha it is just like a sheath a covering the way the sword has a covering similarly annamaya is a covering for you which hides you really the sheath of the sword is not to hide the sword it protects others from the sword edges of the sword here but it is also covering the sword you don't know what is hidden whether this there is a sword inside or not you don't know when you look at the sheath similarly this kosha sheath is hiding the real atma you so you drop that annamaya as yourself and look at pranamaya then you drop as drop yourself being identified with pranamaya you drop that understanding and you hold on to something which is within which is subtler which is the real you as opposed to prana the real you is manamaya says the shruti it is not the final statement so there that manas that emotional you is you which doubts and emotes that is the real you so prana you have to drop identification with and then oh you know i am so so happy i am so sorrowful today i am sad i am angry that is the real you because i am i am samanadikaranam i am sad but we don't see there is sadness in the mind shruti shows that to us there is sadness in the mind but that mind is not you there is happiness in the mind which keeps on changing but that is not you there is ragadvesha ityadi in the mind that is not you you have that by association that is not the real you therefore it is kosha it is hiding your real sarupa therefore anyo antaratma vijnanamaya there is another atma within that manomaya so manomaya is kosha which is hiding that that nischayatmika buddhi that you are then one goes within and says oh yes i i can decide i can analyze as to the emotions which are there in the mind that is not me i am within therefore you drop that and that buddhi i am that intellectual i am that intellectual i am that intellectual being i am not like these animals who can think or not like these animal like human beings also who do anything and everything without thinking i am unlike them i am the real intellectual being this is the understanding or what even at, at a, you know a, with an inferiority complex why oh, don't understand all this too complex for me you know i am a simple person i am a simple turn i am happy with these these things you know i don't want to get into too many details it ends up confusing me all this thinking is also what with identification that one has with buddhi due to that due to identification with the buddhi one concludes that i am this vijnanamaya but shruti says no anyo antaratma anandamaya <coughs> so anyo antara atma anandamaya iti taitariya ke shruyate in taitariya ka upan taitariya upanishad taitariya ka is upanishad which is in the taitriya shaka so that upanishad has this mantra so there in that section and that mantra anyantara atma anandamaya ha where then further it is said ending with brahma pucham pratishta so tatra kim anandamaya shabdena satyam jnanam anantam brahma iti prakrutam param brahmayo uchyate 
किं वा अन्नमयादिवत ब्रह्मण अर्थातर जीव इति विषय अर्थातर पूर्व पक्ष सो दे इन दैट मंत्र आनंदमय विथ ऑल दि सिमिली दैट वाज डन कंपैरिजन दैट वाज डन अर्लियर विथ सिमिली ऑफ दि बर्ड विथ व्हाट इज उत्तर पक्ष व्हाट इज दक्षिण पक्ष what is the trunk there what is the tail there that kind of a statement is done there with brahma pucham pratishta there this brahma which is talked about and anandamaya which is discussed there in that section both are to be analyzed so purva pakshi is looking at that anandamaya shabda and anandamaya shabda what does it stand for the upanishad began by saying satyam jnanam anantam brahma So in the Shiksha Valli, no sir, not in the Shiksha Valli, in the uh, Ananda Valli. So in the Ananda Valli, second Valli, there it started by Brahma Vida Apnuti Param Tadesha Abhyukta Satyam Yana Manantam Brahma. That mantra, in the opening mantra itself, Satyam Yana Manantam Brahma is the Lakshana Vakya. It is the definition of Brahma, Satyam. is brahma jnanam is brahma anantam is brahma iti prakrutam param brahma eva uchyate anandame shabdena with anandamaya is that same brahma whose lakshana was given as satyam jnanam anantam that para brahma is that the meaning of the brahma uh, anandame shabda also or what is the meaning of anandamaya kim va anandamaya divat ब्रह्मण अर्थातर जीव सॉरी अन्नमयादिवत ब्रह्मण अर्थातर जीव इति विषय और इज इट लाइक दैट अन्नमया विच वाज डिस्कस जस्ट बिफोर आनंदमया इन द पंचमय पंचकोशे विवेक सेक्शन सो देयर इज वन पैरा ऑफ अन्नमया अनदर पैरा ऑफ मनोमया थर्ड पैरा ऑफ विज्ञानमया प्राणमया मनोमया एंड देन फोर्थ पैरा ऑफ विज्ञानमय एंड देन फिफ्थ पैरा ऑफ आनंदमय सो इन अन्नमय आदिवत आदि आदि पद स्टैंड फॉर प्राणमय मनोमय विज्ञानमय सो लाइक अन्नमय प्राणमय विज्ञानमय मनोमय एंड विज्ञानमय दि फोर कोशा देर ब्रह्मण अर्थातर जीव इति विषय डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट अन्नमय इज दिस जीव डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट प्राणमय मनोमय एंड विज्ञानमय जस्ट लाइक अन्नमय दिस जीव इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ऑल दोज कोशा दैट इज आत्मा नाउ वेन यू से आनंदमय इज जीव डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आनंदमय और इज इट सेम सो ब्रह्मण अर्थातर मीनिंग इज इज दिस आनंदमय शब्द अर्थ इज इट जीव और ब्रह्म दैट वॉट ब्रह्मण अर्थातर जीव इति विषय संशय वेन दैट संशय इज देर वेदर बेसिकली वॉट वेदर आनंदमय इज ब्रह्म और जीव अर्थातर पूर्व पक्ष अर्थातर मीन ब्रह्मण अर्थातर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ब्रह्म सो द वे इट हेज बीन टेकन वॉट आज सेड एक्चुअली इन दि मंत्र वॉट इज सेड डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अन्नमय इज दिस जीवात्मा डिफरेंट फ्रॉम प्राणमय इज दिस जीवात्मा सिमिलरली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम मनोमय एंड विज्ञानमय इज दिस जीवा जीवात्मा However, Puro Pakshi is saying, and Siddhanti will say, different from Ananda Maya is the Jeevatma, which is Brahma really. That is the understanding. But Puro Pakshi is saying, different from Arthantaram, Brahma na Arthantaram. Different from Brahma is this Ananda Maya, and that Ananda Maya is what different from Brahma Jeeva. Jeeva is not Brahma. Jeeva is different from Brahma Ananda Maya. So Ananda Maya is the meaning of Jeeva, which is different from Brahma. That is the Puro Paksha. It is Puro Paksha. Siddhanta Stu. Siddhanta Stu is Eka Deshi Siddhanta. Eka Deshi Naha Paksha. Ananda Maya Ha Paramatma Eva. So this is Sutra. Ananda Maya Abhyasat. Ananda Maya Ha Abhyasat. Ananda Maya is what? Paramatma Eva. Not different from Brahma. Ananda Maya is Paramatma says the Eka Deshi. Different from the earlier four Koshas. But Ananda Maya is Brahma. कुतः परमात्मा ब्रह्म कुतः कस्मा कारण वाय सो अभ्यास बिकॉज अभ्यास मीनिंग रिपीटेशन इज देर 
आनंद शब्द से ब्रह्मण्यव बहुकृत्व अभ्यास बिकॉज मेनी टाइम्स आनंद शब्द हेज बीन यूज फॉर ब्रह्म एलसवेर सत्यम ज्ञानम अनंत ब्रह्म हियर बट एलसवेर सच्चिदानंद ब्रह्म आनंद इज यूज फॉर ब्रह्म इट इज अ लक्षण ऑफ ब्रह्म इट सेल्फ सो आनंद शब्द इज यूज फॉर ब्रह्म देर फॉर आनंद मया स्टैंड फॉर ब्रह्म एंड मै इट इज नॉट विकार अर्थ दैट इज रिफ्यूटेड इन दि नेक्स्ट सूत्र ननु आनंदमय शब्द से विकारशंक पूर्व पक्षी ऑब्जेक्ट टू दिस सेज दैट आनंद मय आनंद यू आर से ब्रह्म आनंद शब्द इज यूज फॉर ब्रह्म ही सेज लेट से आई एग्री वेदर ही रियली एग्रीज और नॉट इज अ डिफरेंट इश्यू बट लेट से आई एग्री ही सेज आनंद इज फॉर ब्रह्म बट आनंद मय इज नॉट ब्रह्म बिकॉज आनंद मय मय मयट देर इज विकार अर्थे so if it means vikara it will mean what ananda vikara if it means ananda vikara then it will mean brahma vikara this brahma vikara cannot be paramatma brahma itself has to be someone else from brahma that someone else arthantaram meaning brahmana arthantaram jeeva eva it has to be jeeva it cannot be any anything else because jada cannot have ananda ananda vikara cannot be jada ananda vikara has to be brahma vikara which is different from brahma which is jeeva has to be a sentient being so he takes a similar argument that otherwise what siddhanti would do so he is using a right tarka in his angle he says mayat is vikara arthe so ananda vikara means brahma vikara is ananda vikara which cannot be brahma itself it has to be jeeva so nanu ananda may shabda se vikara arthatva that is the hetu ananda maya means vikara it cannot be i mean vikara arthat means ananda vikara that will be the meaning इति आशंक्य मयट हेज विकार अर्था देर फोर परमात्मा इज डेफिनेटली नॉट द मीनिंग ऑफ आनंद मया इट कैन बी द मीनिंग ऑफ आनंद बट नॉट ऑफ आनंद मया विकार शब्दा चेन्न सो विकार शब्दा चेन्न विकार शब्दा न इति चेत न प्राचुर्या सो मेनी वर्ड्स आर देर So Sandhi has taken place between Takara and Nakara. Vikara Shabdat is the Hetu of the Puro Pakshi who says Mayat has Vikara Artha. Therefore, Vikara Shabda. That is the Hetu. Vikara Shabdat. Karana Hetu Ho. Na. Na means what? Na. Ananda Maya Ha. Paramatma Na. Ananda Maya Shabda does not stand for Paramatma. Why? Because Maya is Vikara Artha. It is Vikara Shabda. Ananda Maya will mean a Vikara of Ananda, not Paramatma, because Maya is Vikara Artha. Iti chet. If this be the doubt, no. Says the Siddhanti says no. So this much Vikara Shabda, that is the Puro Pakshi. Siddhanti says iti chet. If that is the doubt, if that is the objection, that is the That is your conclusion. That is how you analyze it. Iti chet na. Not so. Why? Prachuryat. Prachuryat means prachurya arthakatva. Mayat mayat ha mayat shabda mayat pratyaya is in prachurya artha also as per Vyakarana sutra. You are looking at only vikara artha. There is another sutra there. So prachurya artha is possible. Abundance of ananda and abundance of ananda can be Brahma because Brahma is by swarupa ananda. so the the most abundant ananda is the meaning of brahma that is the meaning of ananda so ananda means brahma and it shows that there is no other ananda really so ananda maya shows that ananda is the most in brahma because there is no ananda outside the all that ananda is manifest from tap from this but it is not really ananda elsewhere so that is the meaning of anandam it is a possibility so you cannot say it is vikar artha only now the vritti says na this na na brahma anandamaya shabditam so brahma uh, na brahma this is the purva paksha purva paksha is na brahma anandamaya shabditam anandamaya meaning is not brahma the meaning of the word anandamaya is not brahma why kutaha vikara shabda he says why so vikara shabda vikarartakam 
विकारार्थक मयट प्रत्यया ब्रह्मण आनंद विकार अनुपपत्ते चेत न सो इति चेत इफ यू से सो से सिद्धांति इफ यू दूर्वपक्षी ऑब्जेक्ट सो न नॉट सो दैट इज नॉट राइट वॉट इज दब्जेक्ट दिस इज विकार शब्दा बिकॉज विकार विकार आर्थक मयट प्रत्यया बिकॉज मयट प्रत्यय ईज हैविंग द मीनिंग ऑफ विकार मॉडिफिकेशन प्रोड्यूस सो द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ आनंद इज द मीनिंग दे ब्रह्मण च आनंद विकार अनुपत्ते एंड ब्रह्म के नॉट बी दि विकार मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ आनंद बिकॉज इट इज अनटेनेबल अनुपत्ते सो नो सिद्धांति विल से सो दैट ब्रह्म इज दि विकार ऑफ आनंद देर फोर वॉट यू शुड एग्री से पूर्व पक्षी इति चेत न That can't be your argument. Is it Siddhanti, Ekadeshi? Why Kasmat? Why can't the Puro Pakshi argue so? Kasmat Prachurya, Prachurya means Prakrute Maya Taha Ananda Prachurya Vachakatva Dityarta. Because Prakrute in this context Maya Taha is not in the Vikara Taha; it is in the Prachurya Taha, abundance. Therefore, it not being Vikara Taha Maya. Therefore, Brahma can be the meaning, and Brahma is the only meaning. Says the Puro Pakshi. सिद्धांति बट एक सिद्धांति मयट प्राचुर्थक हेतुअर ही से वाय शुड मयट बी टेकन एज प्राचुर्य मीनिंग इन दि मीनिंग ऑफ प्राचुर्य एंड नॉट इन दि मीनिंग ऑफ विकार ऐ गिव यू अनदर रीजन से सिद्धांति तद्धेतु व्यपदेशाच तद्धेतु व्यपदेशाच सो तद्धेतु तद्धेतु व्यपदेशा चू वर्ड्स आर दे तद्धेतु व्यपदेशा च There is a reason given for that. Hetu yapadesha. There is a teaching regarding that. That is the hetu here. And because of this reason also, maya has to be in prachurya artha, and therefore ananda maya will mean ananda prachurya brahma. So tam anandam prati esha kheva ananda yati iti brahma na hetu yapadesha hetu tva yapadesha. This hetu yapadesha has been said as hetu tva is there. The teaching of hetu tva is there. What is that hetu? Brahma is the hetu for ananda in all jivas. Therefore, what ananda maya para eva ityarta. Para means para atma paramatma eva ityarta. Ananda maya means paramatma because of this reason. What is the reason? The maya is in prachurya artha. And why is it in prachurya artha? Because where there is abundance, that you can tap. What are you looking for? Even if you meditate, what are you looking for? Ask the Siddhanti to the Purva Pakshi. What do you want when you meditate upon Jiva as Upasya, as Ananda Maya? What are you looking for? You are looking for Ananda. Each and every being in each and every pursuit, knowingly or unknowingly, whether it is human being or non human being in each and every pursuit there is pursuit of ananda not the pursuit of happiness of the movie this is in every effort of every jiva every prani also there is a search for ananda that ananda which cannot be held unfortunately because vishe ananda goes away there are so many limitations there are so many flaws in vishayananda that because vishayananda is not having that vishaya is not having ananda that vishayananda is actually a misnomer there is no ananda in vishaya it is the ananda of the seeker which is a swarupa which is blocked due to the craving for that vishaya which drops in coming closer and closer and finally attaining that vishaya then the craving drops off the person is not taken away far meaning the mind is not drawn far away from the swarupa and the swarupa ananda starts reflecting and one has anubhava of this and misunderstand that it is due to that vishaya that is why with each and every seeking of the same vishaya one does not get the same on level of ananda it reduces and then one wants more and more bhoga to get the same level of ananda that was there earlier finally it is so distasteful if one does vichara then 
परीक्ष लोकान कर्मचितान ब्राह्मणो निर्वेद माया नास्तिक अकृतक कृते नास्तिक अकृतक कृते न दिस अकृता आनंदा कैनॉट बी प्राप्त दिस अकृता मोक्ष हा विच इज आनंद स्वरूप दैट कैनॉट बी अटेंड बाय ट्राइंग टू गेट विषयास हियर एंड देयर सो परीक्ष लोकान लोक्यते इति लोका इफ वन एनालाइजेस वंस एक्सपीरियंस एवरी experience that has gone by then one will see that one is unable to hold on to that ananda due to which he started seeking that vishaya earlier that was the reason for seeking the vishaya but it didn't last even if it felt like it gave ananda it didn't last because there is no ananda there it is all going to be binding and it will cause dukha even while having bhoga one sees that it is not going to last and therefore there is dukkha even during bhoga let alone after therefore one who is really intelligent viveki pariksha lokan karma chitan those which are the results of karma they can give you only limited results and that is not going to last forever therefore automatically there should be vairagya generated towards those vishayas says the mundaka upanishad सो तम आनंदम प्रति कमिंग बैक हियर इन तैतरीय कॉन्टेक्स्ट व्हाट इज सेड एष हेवायंद एष हेवानंदयाति सो वन ट्राइज टू सीक दिस आनंद एंड व्हाट इज दैट आनंद वन गेट्स दिस एष एव दिस इटसेल्फ इज दैट आनंद स्वरूप दैट कॉजेस आनंद एल्सवेयर एवरीवेयर दिस आनंद इज ड्यू टू ब्रह्मानंद स्वरूप आनंद आत्मानंद सो तम आनंदम प्रति एष ही एव आनंद आनंदयाति ब्रह्मण हेतुपदेश ब्रह्म इट्सेल्फ इज हेतु फॉर आनंद इन ईच एंड एवरी आनंद एनी वेर दैट ब्रह्म बीइंग दि आनंद देर हेज टू बी हेतु हेतु फॉर आनंद एवरी वेर एनी वेर एंड एवरी वेर देर फॉर दैट आनंद हेतु ब्रह्म हेज टू बी आनंद प्रचुर ब्रह्म देर शुड बी limitless ananda no tap because each and every ananda in each and every vishaya for each and every jeeva human being or not human being anywhere and everywhere at all times is brahma itself that is the source of ananda so it has to be an abundant source never a diminishing source that purna ananda swarupa is the hetu as per the shruti therefore ananda maya has to be Parabrahma, because Maya is prachuryarthi there. So that was the introduction to the sutra. Maya ta ha prachuryartha katve he tu antarma. That he tu is what ananda he tu Brahma. Brahma is ananda he tu for all anandas anywhere and everywhere for everyone. Therefore, Maya has to be prachuryartha because ananda prachurya is there only in Brahma. therefore maya is prachuryartha and therefore ananda maya has to mean parabrahma jiva cannot be having prachur of ananda this is the argument given by the siddhanti ekadeshi siddhanti itascha ananda maya pare eva ityaa due to this reason also ananda maya is having the meaning of paramatma not jiva why mantra varnikam eva cha giyate mantra varnikam eva cha giyate because this the तैत्रिय ब्राह्मण वेर दि तैत्रिय उपनिषद इज अक्रॉस दि ब्राह्मण एंड दि मंत्राज ऑल्सो सो मंत्रा सेक्शन टॉक्स अबाउट सत्यम ज्ञानम अनंत ब्रह्म लक्षण वाक्य देन दि ब्राह्मण वेर दि एनालिसिस इज डन सी मंत्रा जस्ट टेल्स यू समथिंग वेर देयर इज नो प्रोसेस और व्हाटएवर गिवन नाउ देयर इज अ प्रोसेस टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज एक्सप्लेन इन द ब्राह्मण सेक्शन इन द ब्राह्मण सेक्शन व्हाट इज सेड दि पंचकोश विवेक इज गिवन How to land on this Satyam Yana Manantam Brahma? Satyam Yana Manantam Brahma is Atma. That Atma is first Anna Maya. No, no, it is not Anna Maya. It is Prana Maya. No, no, it is not Prana Maya. Mano Maya. Not even that Vidyana Maya. Oh, not that Ananda Maya. That is the Satyam Yana Manantam Brahma, the real you, Atma. Then further what actually? For the Paramasiddhanti, he'll say, no, no, not even Ananda Maya. Why? Brahma Pucham Pratishta. ब्रह्म पुच्छ द पार्ट के नॉट बी रियली पुच्छ इज अ टेल दैट के नॉट बी दि होल दैट के नॉट बी दि दैट के नॉट बी दि आनंदमय पार्ट ऑफ दैट सो देर इज सम डिस्कशन यू कैन रिफर तैत्रिय 
Vashya, if you have studied well and good, you can recall that or revisit that and see or those who have not studied can see as to what is said there in Vashya. It is not necessary, but I am just saying to contrast with this it, and it will contrast, it will not be exactly the same. However, here mantra varni kami vache giyate means whatever is said in the mantra that itself is giyate, that itself is giyate literally means is sung. But what is it? It is that itself is chanted in the Brahmana section also. In Brahmana section, what the mantra, the vakyas which occur, Vedanta vakyas, they are same. That meaning same, they are describing the same Brahma which is there in the in the mantra section. Satyam jnanam anantam Brahma, that Brahma talked about in the mantras is the same Brahma which is talked about by Anandamaya because it is a description of that in in the Brahmana. Brahmana section discusses what is gone in the mantra. It is not something new. It is describing in detail that which has gone by. Even in Karmakanda, Brahmana explains detail, procedural details of what is there in the mantra bhaga. Similarly here, Brahma Vida Apnoti Param Iti Upakramya Satyam Jnana Manantam Brahma Ityasmin Mantre Yat Satyadhyatmakam Sarvantaram Nyetvena Uktam what was said, yet that, exactly that which was by Lakshana told her, Satyadi Atmakam, meaning Satyam Jnana Manantam. This kind of this of Swarupa is for which Brahma? That very Brahma is what? Sarvantaram. It is Sarvantara Brahma. It is that which is there as everything actually. Sarvantaram is which is there in each and every Jiva. As what? Aham Aham. Niyatvena Uktam, it is stated as that which should be known. A Lakshana is given, then you analyze it and then you understand it. That is the process of the Upanishad. So, Niyatvena Uktam, beginning with Brahma Vida Aapnoti Param, meaning what? Brahma with one who knows this Brahma, which is Satyam Jnana Manantam Brahma, as oneself, as Aham. That kind of a Brahma with Brahma, Brahma Vetti Iti Brahma with. One who knows Brahma is Brahma with. So, the knower of Brahma. Apnoti, param apnoti, he attains the highest. What is that highest? Parama purushartha. Only one purushartha is there. That is param purushartha. For a human being, so purushai archyate iti purushartha, moksha purushartha. One gets moksha knowing this Brahma as oneself. Which Brahma? Having begun so, satyam jnana manantam Brahma. Which Brahma? Oh, that Brahma which is satya. Meaning? That which is Satya is Brahma, that which is Jnana is Brahma, that which is Ananta is Brahma and that you are. Ityasmin mantre yat satyadhyatmakam sarvantaram nyetvena uktam tat mantravarnikam Brahma eva. That is what, that Brahma is same as what is discussed in the uh, mantra. Mantravarnikam Brahma eva anandamayati brahmane giyate. In the Brahmana section, anandamaya, what is talked about as anandamaya, that itself is Brahma. That is the same Brahma which is talked about in the uh, in the mantra section. So, the mantra talks about Brahma with Apnoti Param. So, the phala has been mentioned as to become Brahma with. If you become Brahma with, you will attain moksha. So, one is inquisitive as to oh, what is this Brahma. Then the Brahma is uh, talked about as Satyam Jnana Manantam Brahma. Oh, you know that Brahma. Then finally, it is your Swarupa. So, once one is inquiring into that, the discussion or the elaboration in the Brahmana cannot be of something else. It has to be of the Brahm, of Brahma itself. And that Brahma is Anandamaya. In the Brahmana section, in the elaboration, it has to be Anandamaya. In Anandamaya has to mean Brahma. Iti Brahmane giyate mantra Brahmane or ekarthyad ityartaha. Meaning you cannot have mantra talking about something, introducing something else and then the Brahmana discussing procedural details of something else in Karmakanda also. Similarly, in Jnana Kanda, you cannot have mantra Saying that Brahma, one who knows Brahma will attain the highest and then define Brahma and then land on some expansion, meaning the elaborations, the details which are given in the, in the uh, Brahmana section, those cannot be different. They have to be of that same Brahma, which is the context of the discussion. Therefore, Mantra Brahmana or Ekartya, because Mantra and Brahmana have a single Vishaya being discussed, single goal there to attain. Whatever is talked about in the mantra, that itself is elaborated in the Brahmana. Therefore, also, mantra varnikam eva cha giyate. Therefore, also, itascha anandamaya para eva. Therefore, anandamaya has to mean para Brahma. 
further more reasons are given we will see in the next part ha so itascha anandame paraha na jeeva so more reasons are given now there are only couple of lines here till we go to bhagavat padya mata where all of these sutras are reanalyzed and only some uh, you know some perspective difference is given from uh, parama siddhanta so we'll stop here we'll continue in the next part huh? tomorrow being thursday there won't be a part i'll see you on friday kamna yantika samsiddham adi madhyanta varjitam ananda anama purnam atmajyoti rupasmane namaste namaste धन्यवाद नमस्ते